Well, hello, Kat here from Women's Web Marketing. It's been a massive and exciting day. I've just returned from Facebook's very own Facebook marketing program. Now, for those of you who followed me for quite some time, you already know that I've been using social media to market since before Facebook become even known really in Australia. So I have been riding the Facebook wave since Facebook first launched in Australia, using it to market for business. And over the years have used quite a few different methods and strategies to you know to build my own business and to also help other people. So I've learned a lot about Facebook. But with all the recent changes to Facebook, I wasn't so sure about, you know, these things like promoting posts, advertising, the new rules so far as the timeline pictures, and a few other things. So I thought I'm always keen to go along to these things and learn new stuff. So off I went and I put the questions on my fan page, put a question out there, you know, to ask me what your fan page, you know, your Facebook marketing slash fan page questions were and that I would answer them. So here I am ready to do that right now. Okay, so let's get started. And I just want to say also thank you so much for coming by and taking the time to leave your questions. It helps everyone else in the network learn and it also makes me pay more attention when I'm in class because I'm easily distracted. <laughs> True story. Anyone that knows me will testify to that. So, righto, here we are on the Women's Web Marketing fan page and Trish asked, how do you promote your event or product most effectively, as in ads or just putting it on your page? Now, to be honest, judging by these questions, I'm, it's pretty much telling me how confused everybody is about this. And one of the main things that I've been seeing of late and have noticed myself is a decrease in the reach that a post may make. And it's even really interesting to see what kinds of posts are reaching more people. Now, it is a fact and you know I've had people say oh it really just go people are noticing their interaction and engagement drop because they've bought fans well that's not the case at all it is actually fact that if you've done the hard slog and you've built up those fans off your very own back that still your message is probably not reaching a large majority of your audience of course, Facebook want you to pay. Facebook need to make money from this stuff now. Obviously, they went public. It's no secret what Facebook's been doing. So, yes, they need us to spend money. But also, one of the one of the real key points they drove home today, with as with uh, Facebook or Google, it is all coming back down to the user experience. Okay, so regardless of the platform, it's the users that that are literally keeping things ticking along. So they want the users to have a great experience. Now I can in a way see from that point of view why Facebook have made the recent changes. Not that I was so happy about them but I can understand it and I can see why. So one of the major things was the timeline pick. There's uh, most people, and I'm sorry girls, but most of you are breaching the terms of service with your timeline picks. And I've got a few tips on that on the fan page and I'll also be going more in depth with that in my one day workshop. So chat it's coming but um you will see some of the main offending things on the fan page right now uh also coming back to this user experience what you'll probably find if you go back through your posts and you start to have a look at your facebook insights which you should be doing if you're using facebook marketing so have a look at your insights and what you'll probably notice some of the more personal posts uh or so some of the more engaging things will get more of a reach because that's Facebook's way of saying, hey, we're creating a better user experience. Where your posts about your business or, you know, businessy type things may not reach as many people, which obviously, which obviously is not what you want. Crazy, right? So now promoting a post. Now, Trish, you asked this question about your event. When you, you've obviously, you've got the choice to promote a post or also you've got the option of doing Facebook advertising. Facebook advertising is brilliant. I mean, um, I don't think ever before in our history we've been so easily able to specifically target people in particular demographics. It's very cool stuff when you get to know it and you start to have a look at what you can actually do with it. It's amazing and a fantastic way to do market research also. But Trish, in regards to building up a workshop, 
Okay, so regardless of whether you're trying to get more people through in a workshop, or whether you're trying to increase your likers, or you know, literally what you're trying to do is get exposure, right? So either you're going to be promoting your posts, or you're going to be running a targeted Facebook ad. Now you can run that ad to go directly to your event, or to your timeline, or, or to an app on your fan page, which is basically, it might be a sales page, for the event, which yes, you can do. Okay, so you can actually do your sales page in Facebook and do it that way. So you can actually run people straight through to your event page. And okay, now <laughs> next, it's I mean, I'm like feeling like I'm talking double Dutch here and I've been immersed in this all day. So if I'm confusing you, feel free to leave more questions underneath this video or on the fan page and I will clarify. But one of the big key things that I learned today is that the less money you spend on promoting a post or an ad, the less likely it is to be reaching the people you want it to reach. Dun, dun. So it's like, so what he actually said, what Nick actually said is that the, say like you, $5 post, it's like, you know, it's, it's cheaper to reach people in third world countries. So you will probably find you're getting more likes from like Asia or you know, different places more third world and if you are spending more money on advertising or changing your campaign slightly to who it's reaching uh, you will more than likely find then you start to get your Australian American literally we cost more right so they charge us more to reach us or America or you know, I think you're getting my drift so I hope that's answered your question it does get quite technical doesn't it I know but Pretty much, if you look at it like the other major thing to think of, so it's about engagement, social experience. The better you can make that, you really want to look at influence versus likers, which is really uncanny that this all come up because I've actually just designed a workshop called Women of Influence, and that's coming out soon too. Bella, Bella's been on her own for three days. Come, come say hello to the girls. Come on, come say hello to the girls. This is my lab puppy, Bella. Mwah, she's been on her own for the last few days. Um, so literally what we're looking at is increasing engagement on your fan page and you know engaging your audience getting them to answer back to your post to reply you, you want this interaction engagement because that way you're more likely to reach their friends and there is actually a setting in your advertising to say that it can only reach friends of friends and then that way <laughs> you're also you know that's when it comes up down the side of your page and it says such and such as just like this page and you're more likely to hit on that page because your friends like it or you're more likely to go check it out. So that is also a more effective way of building up fans. And I'm going to leave you with that now because that's pretty in some pretty intense stuff for people who weren't in the room with me. But if I fail to make sense of that, make sure you leave me a message and tell me and I will try and clear it up. But the main things, engagement really consider what you're posting and you know try and post high value things because that will help and with your advertising if you're promoting posts try to do friends of friends you know you're going to be reaching you know similar sort of similar demographics and uh they were pretty much the two major points ah uh, and <laughs> straight from the mouth of facebook it's just spend more money of course that's what they want anyway i'm out been a big day Mwah! Once again, thanks for sending me your questions. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.